we practiced like a subtract four from this. We have a three at the bottom, but we cannot subtract four. That's why we have to think about the top bead. Suppose the child has one nickel and three pennies altogether, eight cents. And if he wants to buy four cents candy, you cannot buy four cents candy using three pennies, but he has a nickel. Pay a nickel, get the candy, be sure to get the candy. Yeah? <laughs> and the change is one penny, because four from five leaves one. That means 5,678 subtract 4,444. Four from five leaves one. Four from five, there will be one. Four from five, that's one. Four from five, that will be one. <coughs> so if you know how to subtract four from five or you know, other numbers, even tens, hundred thousand, same way. What about the addition? I have a 1,234. Add 4,444. Here, we have only three left over at the bottom, but four is not enough. So instead of adding four, add five, but suppose that the four, so one is too much. So think about four is a, adding four is a five minus one. Four is a five minus one, five minus one, five minus one. Subtraction, four from five leaves one. One leaves one, left over one. And this is the kind of a final steps, carrying and the borrowings. Think about nine is as same as 10 minus one, plus nine, plus nine. What about plus 90? 90 is 100 minus 10. But actually, idea is a 9 and 1, that will be 10. Plus 90, plus 900, plus 9,000. So whenever you add 9, take away 1, add to the next. Or add 10 first and take away 1. So like a 1,234 plus 9,999 plus 9, 999. What about subtraction? Subtract 9 from 10 divided with 1. Subtract 900. Subtract 90. Subtract 9. But after we practice a long time, we have a very special way. Plus 9999 is the same as 10,000 minus 1. See, that's a kind of a shortcut way. <laughs> <laughs>